Good afternoon, everyone, and today we're coming at you from St. Louis, Missouri, in the Union Station area, which is this actually really neat complex with a, a Ferris wheel and mini golf and bars and restaurants. But we're here to go to the St. Louis Aquarium and show you off all the fish and exhibits there are to see. I love aquariums. I go by the legend. This is my wonderful girlfriend, Molly, who'll be joining me in this video. Let's go check out the St. Louis Aquarium. Here's the main entrance to the aquarium. Uh, there's a ropes course that goes above it, a pretty good size ropes course. Now it's $25 to come in. Uh, you could combo it up with the wheel or the other attractions here for a discount. But uh, just to do the aquarium, it's $25. So the lobby here for the aquarium is insane. Um, it's got this giant LED projection screen. And uh, it is, it's amazing. Obviously this was an old train station. And so they have this projection show. We've been watching for a while. Like it's probably a good 15, 20 minutes at least. Yeah, different shows. Yeah. And then you do have an actual aquarium with fish to welcome you over here. And mix it in with the feet. So we now made it into the aquarium proper. And a theme level here, which should not be a surprise from that projection show to welcome you. Seems really good. Very pretty tanks. So they have very, very large tanks, but they also have very, very, very tiny tanks. Now I believe these are some sort of tiny form of shrimp. <laughs> See my camera's having a hard time focusing, but there you can see the guys. Uh, they're probably like a centimeter long. Like they're they're really really tiny. They're very small. In addition to the big tanks and the small tanks, as Molly is looking at here, there's also tanks that are above you. You do a touch tank kind of thing, but it, it has a line, so we're gonna go pass on that. But there's a some cool theming elements. So right near me here is a turtle, a fly river turtle, and uh, a very nice big, a very bright, and a, a well done enclosure. Very well themed, like a stall. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even notice that, yeah. The snake's tank is filled with tons and tons of red belly piranha. Looks like you have a good uh, lookout bubble. Yeah, but uh, that is a, maybe the most red belly piranhas I've ever seen in one tank of my entire life. So I decided to crawl into that bubble for you guys. And this is the view you get of the red belly piranhas from the bowl. All right, this one's got me excited. This is one of my favorite animals to see in any zoo or aquarium. The otters, these are North American river otters. Uh, looks like they have three of them in there. And a fun enclosure. So, the otters also have a bubble. And he's looking right at me. That was cool. An otter just swam right up to me. The bubble is very neat. And it looks like the otters kind of see their reflection and then play with their reflection. Otters are great. We do have a really interesting enclosure here for the wetlands. Lots of fun fish, but I like the horseshoe crab here. Look how cool he is. Crawling around. Also in this tank is really fascinating. The fish will spit at this, the end of the spear type thing to knock food off. That's crazy. Another very, very small animal over here. These are poison dart frogs. So zoom in on this guy here, show you how cool they are. So while there's no fish over here, this is really cool. It's a, like a sand pit. But then you can form like rivers and mountains depending on how you move the sand. It's, um, it's really kind of neat. 
So after that sand exhibit, you um, you take an escalator up and you move up to the second level here, which obviously you can see the, the old station building. You do get a second level view of the otter enclosure. A really nice otter enclosure. They have a really nice swimming area. You see them playing over there. And then a lot of room out of the water. A bunch of room out Like of a really nice burrow area. You know, a waterfall and water slide kind of area. On the second level, they do have an animal ambassador stage, which you got a whole bunch of different animals. Like, I would have loved, I'm a, I'm a sloth guy, so I would have loved to see the two-toed sloth at 1.30. I like how you tricked your watch yes. when our ta ticket time was 4.30. Well, I mean, we could come back at 7 and see the Teneric. So more of a science center thing than an aquarium thing. You do have this exhibit here that shows like how dams work. And a lot of boats and stuff like that. Now, uh, Molly and I being mature adults, we're gonna race. All right, in three, two, one, let go. Uh, 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 I don't know, this is not going as planned. Little blue boat's moving a little bit. Oh, uh, little blue boat takes the lead. You might want to give yours a nudge. Oh no, little blue boat's in a commanding lead. Molly's pink boat lagging behind as it goes down the little boat log flume to victory. See that Tenric that does the meet and greets later on? He's taking himself a little nap there. So it appears as though the fox turtle has had far enough of people and has buried himself in the dirt underneath his feed bowl. The central bearded dragon, he's posing for us. Norbert. I love it. You also have a lot of touch tanks up here. This one with all sorts of starfish. Including that one over there. Look at that starfish. We have anemones, we have urchins in here, we also have cucumbers. So if you watch some of my videos before, anytime there's a hilarious photo op, I make Molly do it. Here she is um Lord Stanley? Some sort of a goalie crab for the St. Louis Blues. And then you could see Lord Stanley. I can see he's all, probably a lobster. And um, he's right there. He's down there. He makes better lobster than me. He does. And here is another touch tank. This one is for rays, and they've got a whole bunch of them. He didn't like me. He's a uh, pretty good sized touch tank here. Of course, with this being a more entertainment based aquarium, you gotta have your Finding Nemo tanks. With the clownfish and the blue tank. If we move over here, you got, um, oh, this is cool. You got seahorses. And then um, some needlefish. This way to Shark Canyon. Don't mind if I do. Shark Canyon! So as you approach Shark Canyon, you are greeted with a, uh, a series of screens. It's really neat here. So you arrived at Shark Canyon, which I assume is probably the, the biggest tank in the aquarium. It's very impressive. It definitely feels like the, the tank from Manta, if you've been to SeaWorld in Orlando. Definitely has that kind of vibe. Uh, probably not quite as big. You do have some larger sharks that do swim by. But it's very modern, very clear, and lots and lots of fish. Mm -hmm. You can see the uh, the biggest shark in the aquarium is swimming at us right now. Hey, come. <laughs> and it, the glass here is curved, so they could really they could swim right on top of you if they wanted to. But it's very peaceful. Uh, I really like this, this enclosure. Oh, leaving the big view from Shark Canyon, you move on and you're greeted with this tank here. Which I have no idea if it's the same tank or a different tank. But the fish could swim right over you. So the Shark Canyon tank does continue. 
over to here. I'm not sure if it's two different tanks or one giant connected tank, uh, but you've got another kind of 180 degree, they can swim on top of you, dome type thing. Uh, you do have a Goliath grouper, which is a, a massive fish right here. They do have a, a, a green sea turtle. I haven't seen one yet. No. Cool view of the rays swimming right over you. All right, so I did find the sea turtle. Right, let's go. Little guy going for a swim. <laughs> really like the shark tank right there. So this hallway, more projection stuff. Just off bioluminescence. Uh, Molly's gonna walk for us now. And uh, she is glowing like she's an avatar. So you got two different types in here. You got the leafy sea dragon and the weedy sea dragon. Now unfortunately I don't know enough about fish to tell you which one is which. I believe this guy here. I think that's the weedy. The weedy. Yeah. And the leafy one. He's, he's got more going on, like this guy here. But they're just such a cool way to show how animals can camouflage themselves. Got a cool porthole that looks into the Shark Canyon tank again. Before we're greeted with a, a beautiful uh, coral reef tank in here. Hey, it's well done. You can see the coral is wonderful. Uh, the colors really pop and the fish look great. Yeah, you have your classic fighting Nemo. Yep, yeah, well, again, yeah. second one. Yeah. Well, these guys are tomato clownfish. I, I don't believe that is the exact type that Nemo is. No. Another nice tank here, the moon jellies. Um, they are lit very, very well in a always changing kind of color system. Now over here, I, I've been in my fair share of aquariums, so it says cool new animals coming soon. But based on the one tank and the other tank and the itty bitty thing between them, this was probably used to be for a giant Pacific octopus, but now it's for most a new animal coming soon. Well, this tank, it is uh, not a tank at all. This is a just a projection style aquarium, showing off a variety of creatures of the deep, so that giant squid just sort of swam on by. Uh, it's pretty neat. Definitely never seen this before. No. <laughs> Love these guys. These are Pacific sea nettles, another species of jellyfish. And again, just they're presented very, very well here. Uh, super mesmerizing. And then we get another species of jellyfish. These guys are not labeled. I should know what they are because I've been to zoos and aquariums. They're not upside down. No. Because the, the upside down jellyfish just hang out on the bottom yeah, they of do the. Uh, hang out on the bottom. Uh, they are really neat, though. I know we definitely saw them at the Maryland Zoo. All right, and that is all. You exit through the gift shop, which for a small aquarium, it has a very large gift shop. Mm -hmm. There is a conservation and education center right outside the aquarium. That's free. Yeah, free to enter. And they got some cool stuff. Like, look at these guys. These guys here, they're an Eastern Newt. I always think Newts are cool. That'll do it for the St. Louis Union Station Aquarium. Uh, right outside the aquarium, they do have, Union Station is a cool spot, like a hub of tourism attractions. And uh, we're at a koi pond now. There's gonna be some sort of fire show in a little bit. But for the aquarium, I go to a lot of aquariums, so I'm very lucky. That one, definitely not worth the admission price they charge. What they had was nice, but it was very, very small. And uh, it, it's definitely more of a 12 to $15 aquarium when they charge 25. It's very heavy on the touch tanks. Yes, it definitely felt more like a children's museum mm -hmm. mixed it's with, great a, with for an aquarium like segment. Schools yeah. Who uh, have small attention spans. And usually rich they parents, get, apparently, for $25. They usually get very bored at aquariums halfway through. Yeah, I will say, like, world class stuff, the lobby and that LED projection oh, yeah. screen 
That was stunning. I love the otter. And the otter exhibit was also really cool. And the, um, I believe they're angler fish that were spitting to get their food. Mm -hmm. That is something we get to travel at aquariums all over the world. Never seen that before. Never. But overall, you know, it's, um, I mean, you watched the video, you saw it. Whether that'll be worth $25 to you, plus a parking fee, I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, it's definitely, it's not the worst aquarium I've ever been to. It's not the best, far from the best. But I uh, did have some redeeming qualities. Love that projection. The yeah, lobby, the I could have stayed in that lobby. If they had a bar in there, I could stay in there for an hour or two because that was really cool. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below, and thanks for watching.